Hi everybody. Thanks for tuning in and watching for this video again. Um, this is a subject that I have took a long, long time to think about. And that is playing music in rhythm. Rhythm um, is a difficult subject. It's tricky. I've met many, many people over the years that um, play harmonica, of course, um, but who really struggle with playing in rhythm. And so I'd like to address that, but it is, it's a, it's a tricky subject, I think. It's quite difficult, because how do you explain um, how to play in rhythm? Now, first of all, I'm asking myself the question, what is rhythm? What is rhythm? Rhythm is something that we can feel. You don't necessarily hear it, although in some music it's easier to hear than in others, but it's mainly something that we feel. Rhythm is like a heartbeat to a piece of music. A piece of music has got to have this heartbeat, or what we call it, rhythm. Now, we all, we, everyone can feel rhythm. When we listen to music, you start, you start moving along and you, think, you start dancing and, you know, all the things like that. So all of us, we can all feel rhythm. We can hear it. In a piece of music we can hear rhythm. But for some reason with many people when they play a musical instrument, it doesn't matter whether it's a harmonica or something else, really struggle to actually play in rhythm. So the big question here is actually what's the difference between hearing or feeling rhythm and actually making rhythm when you play a piece of music on any kind of instrument. How do you do that? How does that work? Um, I think I'm going to do this in, in two videos because um, I, th I think this is quite a tricky subject and like I said I've been thinking about this for a very long time because what could I actually say? To those of you who really struggle with playing in time and in rhythm, what could I actually bring to the table? What could I say that would actually make a difference? How do I get someone who struggles with playing in rhythm? What could it be? What could I come up with? What could I say that could probably make a difference and that's that's difficult that is a difficult subject um that's why it took me a long time to think about it um i think the big the the, the basic explanation of it is that you need to feel this heartbeat in your head obviously it's not your heart so it's in your head so to play in rhythm and this is this is sound going to sound a bit vague and and a bit weird maybe, but it's it's what goes was go, what goes in on in your head behind your harmonica or behind your whatever instrument you're playing. And it is very important to play a piece of music um, so that it actually captivates your audience anyone else it has to have a heartbeat music has got to have rhythm now don't confuse rhythm with tempo because those are two completely different things you can play a fast music piece of music in rhythm but you can also play a slow piece as long as it still has got rhythm so rhythm and tempo are completely different things. 
I've had many people in the past that I said, hang on, you need to be more in rhythm. And then they start to play faster. Um, as if, almost as if, okay, if I don't have rhythm, I need to play faster. So I play more in rhythm. Actually, they're two different things. Because even a slow piece of music can still have rhythm. Playing a piece of music without rhythm is not music. You can play a wrong note, you can miss a note, you can you can you can make all sorts of mistakes. Uh, that doesn't matter as much. But playing without rhythm is not music. It just is not music. So how and this, this was my question for a very long time. How can I explain this? How can I say anything that would really help those people who really struggle with playing to rhythm? So in this video, I'm just going to have a bit of a chat and talk about things. And in the next video, I'll go and try and play something and sort of show you what's actually going on in my head while I play that. Um, like I said earlier, everyone can hear and feel rhythm when you listen to a piece of music. Some music, the rhythm is much more obvious than in other pieces. Um, if you listen to a waltz, um, ba, ba, um, ba, ba, um, it's quite obvious. Or a polka or, or anything like that, it's, it's very obvious. It's also quite obvious in rock music or, you know. So some music is more obvious. The rhythm is more obvious than in other pieces of music. Um, but for some reason, most people don't like music where the rhythm is too obvious. Um, we don't like polkas and we don't like waltzes where the rhythm is boom in your face. We like music where the rhythm is a bit more obscure where it's a bit more secretive but still it's the same thing if it's not in rhythm then it's not music and it's particularly different if you play a piece of music that you play slowly um, and Rhythm is actually um, what's going on in your head, as I just said. But what's also important is that you pronounce your rhythm through your instrument. So if you have a boom in your head, you play the note on your instrument. It's that connection between brain and instrument. That is, that is also very important. So you've got to think through your instrument. And again, this, this is going to sound a bit awkward, a bit vague, a bit weird, maybe. But the more you think about it, it's, it's actually absolutely true. So playing in rhythm is really all about what's going on in your head. There are some simple exercises that you can do. There really are. For it, just play notes in the rhythm that you've got in your head. So say in your head you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Any note, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a piece of music. Just play a couple of notes or even the same note. As long as you play it in the same rhythm that's actually in your head. 
do different rhythms. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ba da 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 da. So, what goes on in your head? You need to play on your instrument. And again, it doesn't matter harmonica, anything else, it doesn't matter. So you need to think through your instrument. So it's getting that connection between the rhythm in your brain and the rhythm on your instrument. That, I think, is the trick, especially for those people who struggle to play something in rhythm. Um, Again, and this, this is why it took me so long to actually put this video on. Um, it, it really is a mixture of some strange, vague language. And maybe you'd be thinking I'd be talking uh, bullshit or whatever else. Or, you know, sorry for the words, but um, you could, you know, you could be thinking that because it is a difficult subject. Um, what else? can I say? Um, in my next video I'm going to use um, a slow piece of music that's really slow and I'm going to try to show you what actually goes in my own in my head when I play it and hopefully you will get that connection hopefully you will get that connection what goes on in your head has to come out of your instrument. Many people, if you look at certain harmonica players, um, Brendan Power is a classic example. If Brendan Power starts playing in harmonica, his harmonica, within three notes you're in the rhythm, you can feel it, you can feel the rhythm. Or any other, any other players that are really good at it. Um, but again, it's particularly different uh, difficult, sorry, for uh, music where the rhythm isn't very obvious. Um, slow pieces of music in particular. What also many people do is um, they use backing tracks to play to. So the backing track plays the rhythm and you follow the backing track. Now, the big trick here is it's okay to use backing tracks, but pretend, imagine in your head that the backing track is actually following you. That's also a very, very significant difference and that will help you a great deal. Um, because don't actually follow music, because if you follow someone else, you're always too late so you need to make the rhythm so if you play to backing tracks listen to the backing track first find the rhythm count along feel it in your head so without playing to it and then when you play to a backing track <clears throat> just imagine in your head that you're the player and the backing track is actually following you. Just imagine that the backing track is a, a couple of artists that you got with you on your stage or you know playing for you. So imagine that you actually play and the backing track is following you. That makes quite a difference as well, I think. Just get that into your head. Right. Um this is it for now. I'm going to move on to my next video shortly where I'll use a, sm a slow piece of music and try to show you what goes on in my head while I'm playing it. And hopefully that helps as well. Thanks and see you in the next video.